Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic where we just got another focus and we killed this like quote quote invincible troll last time. Okay, they said practically- Why are you so irritated by this? Cause he did, never said it was invincible, okay, he said- it just, why, it, so what? He said trolls were practically invincible and what we killed was a juvenile. Um, Oh, we are at low health, so if you want to fight those snappers... I don't particularly. Well, I think they want to fight you. Well, that's why I'm going this way. Oh yeah, last time it like crashed or something. Yeah, so we need to Probably keep... because I was like... <laughs> tumbling Be... through everything. Okay, I think I'm... Far enough away from the snappers. Mm. Why are we on such low health? Uh. Yeah? Ah! <laughs> you didn't hear that? Right, the fucking mega conga line bullshit. I was like, I thought I heard something, and then it's just like, surprise snapper. Those are orc dogs, I should avoid them. This is not... I'm not sure, maybe they're just always but... Uh oh, you just waded through the river, and now you have dysentery. I'm sorry, what? It's like an Oregon Trail thing. You don't get that from wading in rivers. Oh, I thought that was the thing. I what, know. What's the problem when you raid in rivers? It's like, what what could happen? Um, you can get washed away by the current. Oh. Probably save now in case it crashes. Okay, we're not saving every five minutes in case it crashes. Okay, but it specifically crashed before because we went into town. No, when did it specifically crash because we went into town? I don't remember this. Well, the error message had so said something about the music. I don't... No, it crashed when we were in the ruins, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. What? The end of the last episode, it crashed. Okay, I don't remember this, but sure. Do you think you could tilt the screen down a bit? Down? Yeah, that's good. It was getting a bit of glare. You've worked your way up pretty fast. Well done, man. Well, how's it going? Well, how's it going? You can always count on me, kid. Uh huh. You were... Let me pass! <laughs> Your feelings of friendliness to me lasted very little time. Well, yeah, you stood in his way. Be something about that story, That's yeah. capital offense. No, it's not. Just jumping Maybe. on people is. <laughs> So we're hoping to get two weapon, two-handed weapon training from Boris. Yes. Hopefully for free. Well, yeah. Hello, Mr. Crappy Meat Cooker. Maybe. You mean that guy? Maybe. Yeah. Hang on, better people out. Oh. Hey, 
Why, why are you standing like that? He always does that. I know. He, he clearly is very important. For Gomez! Yes, sorry. Yes! Two-handed sword level two. You were about to say two-handed Thoris level. I want to learn more about fighting with a two-handed sword. First of all, you need to change your basic stance. Hold the sword vertically, grasp the hilt firmly in both hands, and hold it at the side of your body. Bring it down quickly, and swing the blade over your shoulder. Now is your chance to do a quick slash to your right. Your opponent won't have time to come at you. Or bring the sword down from the top left in a forward thrust to drive your opponent back. Spin around to give your next blow the necessary momentum to strike your opponent down. If it isn't enough, use your remaining swing to wield the sword again. When you've finished your attack, block your opponent and wait for an opening to strike again. The key to success is varying your stances and changing positions. Cool. Instead of eating meat, we could sleep in a bed tonight. Let's talk about we something. could tell that morning. That wasn't very clear. Some people never learn. Whoa, what was that accent? Oh, there's the bed. Always save before going into bed. People always talk. It, it is step. It is all the even steps after all. Save in this slot just in case. Yeah. Alright, dude. It was Thank you. That's not really my problem. Alright, sleep until next morning. People always talk. I've noticed that since we've become a guard, nobody cares when we go into these houses. Well yeah, it's probably part of the job. That was very clever. I'm not I don't know, maybe that was also a thing while we were a shatter. Let's just get away from these people. And then like, oh yeah, we need to equip a two-handed sword. Yes. First, let's like equip the orc two-handed sword to see if it's like any different. Okay. This thing? Yeah. It's control up, of course. Well, what did you think this was? Intuitive design? What is it called? Escape. What? Oh, tap, right. I think it's one or space. That looks quite stupid, actually. Yeah, I don't think he's holding that right. I can't see how he's holding it, so... Okay, I guess I I I thought it kind of looked like a batleth. It is kind of like a batleth, but it doesn't have the extra grip. Yeah, it it's like a batleth except crappier. Yeah, except worse designed. Yeah, it's like why would you even design this? That sort of victory. Uh, what is it? This one? Yeah. Custodian's blade. Yes. All right, dude. Now. Space. Ooh. Dang it. Let's, let's put that away before we damage something. Yeah. It kind of looks like the strikes are a bit weird. They're slower. Which I'm not sure that I like. Yeah. I mean, I think we've kind of, like, committed to this build, so whatever. Well, I mean, we have... As far as I know, there aren't other levels of one-handed weapon training, so. Yeah, I mean... Well, no, for example, I, I think we could, like, go one-handed weapons training and then, like, go into, like ranged weapons or magic. Oh, come on, not that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean... But we're built, like... 
I mean, I'm we're sure... We're built like a porn star, okay? Sorry? I said we're built like a porn star, okay? <laughs> oh, look at the map. I think we're going in the wrong direction. Uh, maybe. I wanted to get a little bit closer over here before I wasted time looking at the map because it's annoying. There needs to be, like, a map hotkey. Yeah, I think we're actually going in the opposite direction. Well, let's find out. Oh! oh. We, no, we just need Oh, to... that's right. We're going past the snappers. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. No, we need to turn that's around the tra and yeah. go this way. Way. We That's need... the trading ground right there, or the yeah. hunting ground, so we just need to go up there. Yeah, we just need to go back and go around the forest. Okay, so we weren't actually going as off as I thought. We could probably just cut through the forest and go around the edge. Mm -hmm. I'm just stuck on trees right now. How long have we been going? I can't quite see the number. Uh, ten minutes. Oh, okay. halfway. Uh, let's just... Yeah. And then fight those insects. Well, I might take some swings at them in passing. Like, I don't think it will take long. No, we already killed him in one hit. <laughs> I'm not gonna even pick up the wings. You're just like, they're that beneath me now. I should have picked up wings, but... Oh, we have plenty of ore. Okay, so we need to actually get out of the forest. Yeah, no, this is the correct direction. Just hug the wall stay. and we'll probably get there eventually. Yeah, there's like, it's like in a passageway that goes up this way. Like there. You mean where there are snappers? snappers they yes. like gated off everything by putting snappers in front of it. Which is an interesting way to gate things off. No, that's what Ultima 9 did, and it sucked. No, Ultima 9 used invisible walls of death. It did not use powerful enemies. Hi, Snapper. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <Mr>. <laughs> too many Snappers. Too many Snappers, too many Did it snappers. just bite me there? I mean, it's kind of sliding right now, what but... The Help. <laughs> okay. It's like going inside you and using your skin. It's going to wear your body as a skin. Uh-huh. Um, oh, we're all the way back here. Oh, that's annoying. So try doing the side-to-side -side thing. You can do that on your turn. Okay. Okay. Now's a good point to save. Mm -hmm. It is step three after all. Sorry, step four. like a grew thing. What comes after step one? Step, step two, then step one again. <laughs> Hi, Snapper. No, see, they, they have aggro tells. And of course, I could not manage to not... Oh no, they do have aggro tells, but once they start their tell, they've already aggroed. <laughs> Tea bag. Yes. Okay, Th this has happened to you before as well, that they make a noise and it sounds like they're making the dying noise, so you lower your guard, and then they're not actually dead. No, I think this has only happened to you. No, there's a video I remember where it happened to you. Okay. Uh oh! What? It's aggroing. It's not letting me exploit the AI. I want to find that post. I'm afraid it doesn't exist anymore. So 
Okay, what is the next step? The next step is to put that sword away, and then we... Is he in the box? Yes. yes, he's in that box. Alright. Maybe... Maybe he was talking about snappers. We are level 14, aren't we? He, he just accidentally wrote scavengers instead? Maybe we misread it. I... Or he misremembered what the enemies were called. That... That is sort of possible. It's like, oh yeah, it's those like weird lizard things. Those, the, uh... those, those bipedal enemies. That... Yeah. I don't know how you could, if you knew the game that well enough that you knew what level you had to be to kill various things, though. That you well... would remember, like, beginning enemies versus, like... I don't know, if it's been, like, a few years... If it's been, like, ten years since you played the game and you played it, like three times to completion so you remember oh yeah i was at this level when things became easy then i could beat those like bipedal enemies you know the uh the scavengers right i think there were a lot of posts there was a lot of things in there about scavengers though yeah like and that but was that the thing could... why i thought i found it. Oh, oh all of them the... you got all of them Oh, no, I got... only got one. Thank you. I think there's a wolf down there. Um, yes. keep your eye on the snapper. After I kill the snapper, I'm going to kill that wolf so I don't accidentally, like, get it or something. Stop fucking... <laughs> uh! And the chances of me being able to pull that one again is... You know, actually, first I'm gonna go kill that wolf so that I don't have to worry about it. Turns out it's a snapper in wolf's clothing. Well, yeah, because you know how they put skins on themselves or something, apparently. <laughs> it looked like it was just kind of going into you. Right. No comment. I swear for a moment I thought that wolf was standing on its hind legs. But you thought it was a dog man? Well, yeah, it looked like that. But that would be awesome if games had like... But they would never work now because of the internet. But if they had like secret cryptozoology. No, some games still kind of have that. I know GTA was big for that. Like, basically the secret like weird... Sometimes supernatural things that are very hard to find. But the thing is that they, it won't be, like, exciting when you find it because it will be, like, advertised on the internet. Well, they won't advertise it. Yeah, if you look for it. <sighs> no, see, he was not aggroed. Okay. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I guess. Well, none of the other ones are reacting, so let's just wait for that one to start moving. I take another step back because some of your strikes go forward. Yeah. Come on, dude. That's right, they have the long back. Be careful. <laughs> Well, we're about out of time. Yes, yes, we are. Until next time. Bye. Bye.